Hi, I'm Trish Lapidus, and I want to talk to you today about bullies and cyber bullies. We've been hearing about kids getting in trouble at school with other kids because we now have Facebook and phones and text messaging and all these different um, technologies, which are wonderful when used right and awful when used badly. Um, our kids are out beyond their own control and out beyond our control unless we do something to help them. And really, that's the message. A bully is asking for help. A bully is an unhappy person. And a lot of our kids uh, engage in bullying activities because they're insecure. They don't have enough confidence in themselves to, to realize that they're going to make it okay in this world. They'll, that they will have friends, that people will like them and trust them and, and find them to be authentic beings because they don't feel authentic. They just don't. And somewhere along the way, something or somebody grabbed that authenticity, that sense of, of who they are that is a person's happiness. And that's confidence and very few of our kids have enough of it to either withstand temptation to be a bully or to withstand the onslaught of uh, being bullied. Um, and it, it, it's a loop. Um, I had a spiritual teacher at one point who described it as a loop, uh, which is to say, if you'll run one end of the loop, you'll run the other. Uh, many a bully of a very small child will then become the bullied when a bigger child sets step into the area because he's just as vulnerable to being bullied as he is to bullying. So we don't want to separate and say it's the bullies against the victims. Uh, we don't want to be either bullies or victims and, and we certainly want to recognize it could go either way. Um, so we need to step in and give these uh, children and even high school age children some help with their confidence. That's the specific area that we need to help them with. Um, ethics too, you know, guidance on what works in life. They think that bad behavior works because it's what they see all around them. They're young. How do they know? You know, they look and they see this is the way life works. People treat each other badly. And if I don't treat somebody badly, I'm just going to get treated badly. They make that equation and we need to show them. We need to first get our own ethics in, in our lives, whatever it takes. Get our confidence back so that we can live as ethical people. And then we need to step in with the strength and the guidance that they need. And believe me, we are stronger and more capable than we ever thought. Um, someone took our confidence once upon a time, never mind that, let's get it back and let's be the confident, able adults that our children need. In my novel, Gideon's River, we see an example of a family that's dealing with um, the drama that I would call the bully and the whip. The bully and the whip. And what I have attempted to do in the novel is to show that drama really well, to show how it relates to confidence and happiness and a family's well-being, and to give some sense of what's to be done about it.